What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to LTH. My name is Abe and don't forget there are timestamps down below in this video if you'd like to skip to any one specific part. But if you are new here, this is a standalone video, but this video is a part of our series on how to set up a home lab, which you're seeing on the screen right now. And in this video, we're going to be covering Linux hardening and then six video part series because I wanted to keep these videos nice and short for you. But we are going to cover within the next six videos how to enable automatic security updates, SSH key authentication, enabling the firewall, installing fail to ban, removing unnecessary package, and upload your public SSH keys to GitHub. So when you install new servers in the future, you can grab the SSH key automatically during your server install. And I wanted to keep these videos short because it's better for YouTube or for people who are trying to find a specific one of these things to get started. So in this video, we're going to be covering automatic security updates. And I'm going to one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Automatically log in to the server we are going to use to harden our Linux environment right now. All right, and so once we are logged in, what we want to always do is update. Make sure we have the latest packages. That's going to be with this sudo apt update and and sudo apt upgrade dash the Y flag. And then we're going to make sure all the stuff's up to date. So go ahead and do that right now and unpause this video when your updates have finished. All right, so now that the update is finished, when we have services slash software that's been hosted for a long period of time, we need to ensure we have consistent updates. New found vulnerabilities come out daily all the time, guys. So we want to ensure our systems are secure as possible. So what we're going to need to do is install this sudo apt install unintended upgrades. Now, depending on your Linux distribution, this might already be installed, but we wanna run this command to make sure it is. And as we can see, we had zero upgrades because most new versions of Linux Ubuntu server will already have this installed automatically, but it's good to check. And then another command we want to do is to ensure that it is running with system CTL status unintended upgrades. And we can see it is running and it's been enabled. So that's a good sign. And now to enable automatic security updates, if it is not running, we will need to edit the following two uh, files. So and here, this is going to be a sudo nano in the etc apt app.config.d, and it's the 20 auto upgrades folder. And then the other one will be the 50 unattended upgrades folder. And so then in here, we just want to make sure that these two parameters are set with one. If this is empty, once again, linked down below, we will have our walkthrough to show you how to do this. And so we're going to just do control X to leave that because it's in there. And then the other one we want to check is this 50 unattended upgrades. And so for this specific file, forward slash forward slash is a comment out. You would get rid of the comment for anything that uh, you want to use. So we can just go through here. We can look and make sure, but essentially you don't need to change anything. We can see these unattended upgrades dev releases is already set to auto. Uh, you know, you can read through this folder, but essentially if you would like to go into any more depth, you can. Now, I know there is one thing in here some people do change, and it is, if I can find it. Oh, there's also like another one, unattended upgrades, remove new unused dependencies. True, you could uncomment that, but you could essentially leave this default, and you would be just fine because we know this file exists. Okay, so my bad, I just found it, but it's right here. Unattended upgrades, autofix, interrupted packages, right? True. Most people do, or I should say a good amount of people undo this comment just like this and they save and it seemed to work just fine for me. But essentially like if something happens during install or your machine reboots or whatever during a security download, this will auto automatically attempt to fix the issue and re-download or reinstall it if it needs to. So many individuals recommend that you uncomment this, but you don't have to. So if you do uncomment that, we're gonna do control X, the letter Y to save, and then enter to save to the file name, like that. 
And that's simply it. That's all you have to do for this episode. So I hope you enjoy. I hope that makes sense. And please stay tuned for the next video where we go over SSH key authentication. My name is Abe, signing off.